Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix when your device ran into a problem and needs to restart on Windows 10 and 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve that. Number 1. Try rebooting the device. Sometimes the simplest solution can be the most effective. So, start by rebooting your computer. Number 2. Boot into the safe mode. For this, press Windows plus I to open the Windows settings. After that, choose system from the left hand side menu. Then, head over to the recovery window on the right section. Then, just simply click on the restart now button associated with advanced startup. Then, again hit restart now. After that, head over to troubleshoot. Then, select advanced options in the next window. After that, just simply choose startup settings and then click on restart. In the following window, press 4 to launch safe mode respectively. Number 3. Update the drivers. For this, right click on the start button and select device manager. After that, expand the categories and right click on the device with the yellow triangle icon. It is usually for indicating a driver issue. Then from there, select update driver and choose to search automatically for updated driver software. After that, window will automatically attempt to find and install the latest driver. Number 4. Run chkdsk command. For this, open start, search for command prompt, right click the top result and select the run as administrator option. After that in the command prompt, type chkdsk slash f c and press enter. Make sure to replace c with the letter of the drive you want to check if it's not a system drive. After that press y when prompted to schedule the disk check and the next restart. After that, just simply restart your PC. Number 5. Run the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. For this, press Window Key plus R to open the run box. In the run box, type mtsched.exe and press enter. After that, just simply select restart now and check for problems. Number 6. Uninstall recently installed Windows Update. For this, go to Windows Settings. Click Window Update from the left hand side menu. Then go to update history and choose uninstall updates according to you. Number 7. Check for viruses and malware. For this, type Windows Security in the Windows search bar and select Windows Security from the results. After that, in the Windows Security window, click on virus and threat protection. Then under current threats, click on quick scan to perform a basic scan. But for a more comprehensive scan, you can also choose full scan. Number 8. Perform a system restore. For this, type create a restore point in the window search bar. After that, click on system restore under the system protection tab. Then, it will automatically prompt you to select a certain date and open the restoring window. Note, if you previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, the computer will automatically display a recommended date for restoration. After that, just simply click finish to complete the process. The finishing time is a few minutes. When finished, your computer will automatically reboot. Number 9. Try clean boot. For this, press window key plus R to open the run box. After that, in the run box, type msc open fig and press enter to open the system configuration window. Then, in the system configuration window, go to the services tab. And from there, check the box that says hide all Microsoft services. After that, just simply click the disable all button. Next, go to the startup tab and click on open task manager. After that, in the task manager window, disable all the startup programs by right clicking on each entry and selecting disable. Then, close the task manager and go back to the system configuration window. After that, click OK and then restart the computer. 